Wom Star. Welcome back to Guyana. Despite being very unknown on the world stage, Guyana is an incredibly interesting country. Roughly 40% people of Indian descent, 40% people of African descent, and the remaining being mixed or indigenous. It's a country with some very unique demographics. It also has a very unique history. Today, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go to some of the major landmarks in the city, and we'll try to find out how this interesting yet mysterious country came about. Let's go. Who are you? <laughs> Which YouTuber am I? I know, uh, like, uh, I know these Food Ranger guys, like Best Ever Food, Food Show, and uh, Mark Queens and these guys. Okay, I'm like that, but better. Really? With more adventure, you know. What's up? Slightly less food. <laughs> See, put up a video here uh, from our very professional but be careful huh? because there's thieves everywhere right yeah so be careful yeah. I've heard a lot about that uh, this area is starting to remind me a bit of my uh, Paco friends at Rosario but with more horses. Let's move on. A little bit unstable. So here, not too long ago, is where the president or the prime minister of Guyana would have been addressing the people or at least roughly half of them. So this thing is falling apart, but you guys came here and turned it into a driving school. Yeah, pretty much. Um, they... Start from the top again. All right, so this was basically abandoned, it's not being used for anything at the moment. And then you guys saw an opportunity to like start a driving school or use it for your driving school. Yeah, correct. Well, we already had the driving school established about maybe two, three years before this was built. Um, the previous government they utilized it for our 50th independence celebration, and then uh, they had a couple of rallies and so on here. But since then, it hasn't really been used, and it started to like really be neglected and falling apart. So the driving schools, we just basically, it's here, it's empty, it's vacant. Yeah. So we just started utilizing it and teaching persons how to drive on it. Oh, that's, that's pretty nice. Yeah. Being used for something at least. I assume uh, you don't have to like dodge drug addicts on the road. Is that like an added challenge? Or sometimes, like, sometimes you <laughs> do, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a saying that if you can drive here in Guyana, you can yeah. drive anywhere in the world. All right, so as I said, we're gonna do a little tour of Georgetown today. But, you may have gotten the impression already, the correct impression, that Georgetown is uh, a little bit dangerous. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I've actually already had an attempted robbery on me within days of arriving in this country. And people warn me everywhere not to walk the streets. So, in a first, on this channel, Today, we're going to be walking around with some new friends of mine. So let me introduce you to... Uh, Cien. Cien. Yeah, Cien. Yeah, Cien. Yeah, Stefan. And Stefan. Yeah. Okay. How's it going? It's going pretty well. Yeah. And uh, shall we go to uh, Starbucks Market? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Okay. What's going on? Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. As long as it's not your taxes, yeah. Maybe you know, I want to. He, he like he likes these things, that different things, right? Yeah. But I, I want to get them like 
Yeah, it's Porsche. It's a package. Oh, okay. I got you. I'm not seeing This is your son? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he's very good at solving Rubik's cubes. He knows how to do yeah. solve problems, yeah. riddles, stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Two seconds. All right. He's doing well at school. Yes. Oh, that's very good. All right. What's his name? Ruel. Ruel. Okay. What's your name? Edith. Edith. Okay. Edith and Ruel. All right. Yeah. I'll do what I can. Okay. You'll be in this video at least. Okay. You take care. Before Haiti, there was Guyana. In 1763, back when the Dutch controlled all this land that is now known as the Guyanas, there was a slave rebellion in the eastern part of this country. And they basically took over all the plantations and took over the entire colony. And the Dutch basically had to invite in foreign forces, like the French, to come and quash the rebellion. But for that reason, this guy, Kofi, is seen as a hero here in Guyana. So what you have behind me right here is a building that they're calling the Chinese Association, Wanhui Huazhong. And uh, I'm sure this was set up by China to, I don't know, handle economic affairs or spread Chinese culture or something like that. But, the Chinese actually have a much longer history in Guyana than just that. In fact, interestingly, the very first president of Guyana was Chinese, or ethnically Chinese. First man of Chinese descent to be president outside of Asia. He was basically a figurehead, but still a significant thing. The Chinese were something like 2% of the population at independence, although it's been going down ever since then. So what's kind of funny is because Guyana and Georgetown are so small, you can't walk like five feet without walking into an important building. This right here is basically the parliament of Guyana, where all the politicians meet, have their meetings, throw up their backroom deals. What we're coming up on here now is Starbrook Market, the most famous market in Guyana. And uh, I'm pretty excited to go in and buy some tourist stuff maybe. But uh, one thing I've been told is there are uh, quite a few robberies, people trying to knock out foreigners as soon as they walk in there. So uh, I'm going to have to have my friends watch my back while I go in. I need like a, a cap. No, I need a cap. A cap. Yeah. You can try it. Yeah. It has some more effect. Cupid, don't you hear me? Calling you. Yeah, that nice one there, Jordan. That's a nice one. Jordan. That's a big man, Jordan. 2000. 2000? You guys bargain here in Guyana? I'm bargaining again. <laughs> You're bargaining out here? <laughs> no? <laughs> Let me ask you You do bargaining in Guyana? Huh? You guys bargain out here? All right, I'll leave him out of it. <laughs> All right. How's life? Good, good, good. You're in the army? Oh, nice. Yeah, thank you. Perico, Perico! This is the dangerous part, okay. <laughs> ah, yeah. yeah. Is this the part where they sell like the, uh, the stolen phones and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. This is the cell phone. Yeah. It's right over here, okay. Okay, so we're now walking into the swap meet of Guyana. Right. Not in need of a knife at the moment, but I know where to get them when I come back. Okay. 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 Okay.
To cook for you. I, I gotta find a guy in Israel. Yeah, where are I they? Find one. Where, I'll go find one for you. Where are all the girls out here? What are you selling here? Pizza one. You're making me blush. I can't focus. I'm on one of What's your name? Anita? Okay. I'm Tommy. Yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah. Not a lot of green eyes out here in Guyana. Look at that right here. Bit of a rarity. Uh, how much? Where am I traveling from? New York. Yeah, yeah. It's my first time in Guyana, yeah. You have a lovely country. Before I forget, how much is this? 160. 160, okay. You're not even ripping me off. That's beautiful. <laughs> Alright, so um, I already forgot what this is called. Excuse me, what is this called? <laughs> it's a China cake. Okay, it's from China. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> I got a China cake right here. First bite. Oh, that's so interesting. This really does come from China. I didn't recognize that first. It's got like sesame paste in the middle. Nice. This rum? Coconut oil. This coconut oil. Wow, hold on. Coconut oil, you boiled your one. Oh, okay. I thought it was alcohol. That good stuff. Smells like a virgin. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> You like Guyana? Oh yeah, I love, love Guyana. Great country. Beautiful. Nice people. What does that say on your shirt? Forever Mamba. There you go. 
Forever a legend. Nice. Thanks. Yeah, keep selling those virgins over here. They're good. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm good. Use uh, your skin. Oh, that's for your skin. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was for cooking. No, you cook it, but I use skin to get skin smooth. Oh, okay. That's the so I can stay sexy. Basically. All right, what's, what's going on? Come in, come in, bring drops yeah. coming down. Me and my baby cool and tight, got to win all right. Not going right. Not going right in Guyana. They're not going right in Guyana. No. What's going on? There's problems. Bring drops coming down. There's problems with worry. Me and my baby cool and tight, got to win all right. President, I hope you never stop. Playing games. Playing games. All right. Super Thank you for your message. Take care. All right. All right, man. All right. 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 All are you guys allowed to drink while you're working? Okay, I don't want to get them in trouble. Can you, can you give me like a guy in these beers? A guy in these beer? Yeah. What do you have? Thanks? No, let's, let's do it, thanks. Yeah. Very professional. I appreciate it. Alright, there you go. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, it's a Yeah, to Guyana. You remind me a little bit of Prince Harry. A little, a little Prince Harry. Huh? Prince Harry. I'm a little. <laughs> yeah. uh, promoting your bar. What's the name so, of your bar? Is it the Dubai bar? This is the Dubai bar right now. Dubai bar. Yeah. Okay. Only bar on the street right now. Yeah. yeah. The only Dubai bar in Guyana. Okay. Why Dubai bar? So you just give it the name. Okay. Yeah, you want to give the impression of like. Uh... Remember we got aisle two in it. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're standing on oil. Oil is beneath your feet. Oh, oh, the oil, yeah. <laughs> I, I heard. Oh, I get it now. There you go, yeah. There you go. There you go, the Dubai bar. Nice, nice, yeah. Yeah, I heard Guyana's about to be rich. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're not rich. How's <laughs> yet? I mean, your politicians are about to be rich. Right. Way beyond there you go. <laughs> what are the best things about Guyana? If, if you're talking to like an American tourist, imagine it's like an American girl. How would you convince her to come down here? But you see the part now, I can't try to convince any girl. Yeah. People looking so. Alright. I hope, uh, I don't know, money gets down, more tourists come down here. Yeah, more tourists better for Guyana. Not a lot of people know about Guyana, to be honest. Yeah, they say, they say Ghana, but Ghana is the country, but this is Guyana. Yeah, Ghana's in Africa. Exactly. Yeah. So what we're coming up on over here is like the Supreme Court of Guyana, the High Court. And I'm about to show you something that's going to demonstrate how British Guyana still is. Here we have Queen Victoria. As you can see, the Commonwealth is alive and well here in Guyana. I got to be honest. I love the architecture that I'm seeing out here in Georgetown. Now, I haven't been to that many Caribbean countries, so I don't know if it's similar over there. But, uh, yeah, this is completely different from the rest of South America. Very, very British, Victorian feel. So this right here is City Hall. And behind me... This is, the main, this is the main police department? Yeah, they don't have like, the city, 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 city police. And okay. The people to the city. Okay, smooth yeah. place. It was pretty easy to just walk in here. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> that wasn't too difficult to do. So behind me right here is St. George's Cathedral. Which is kind of like one of the prides of Guyana. Unfortunately right now, it's under renovation, so... I can't take you inside to go and see it. You'll just have to imagine. Or I'll put some pictures up. But uh, it's interesting. 
Guyanese people will tell you that it's the tallest wooden structure in the world. Technically, I think Romania recently built some wooden thing that's a little bit bigger, but shut up, Romania. Let Guyana have the win, alright? And so, this was built when the British were still here, during the age of uh, the British colony. However, an interesting note that the British weren't in control of Guyana for most of its colonial history. That was actually the Dutch. And that's why we just came from a place called Starbrook Market. Obviously a Dutch word. During the Napoleonic Wars in the 1800s, I know, that doesn't sound like it would be related, but <laughs> somehow, some way, the British basically took control of Guyana from the Dutch. Whereas Suriname, was basically left in Dutch hands, and that's why Suriname to this day still speaks another language. But from that point forward, in the early 1800s, Guyana became British, and it became the only English-speaking part of South America. What's up? How you doing? How are you? Keeping uh, Georgetown safe over here. Okay. Good. So that security guard that we said hi to back there, actually, he actually defended that bank from an armed robbery. His like co-security guard, his partner actually died in the attempt, but they stopped all the robbers, put them all in jail afterward. The man's a goddamn hero. Yeah. Yeah. I noticed there's a lot of people selling knives out here in Guyana. What is this used for? Use it defend yourself. <laughs> prospecting or someone? Prospecting, prospecting. Pros someone. Prospecting, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. Brass knuckles and a knife <laughs> all in one. <laughs> this is Guyana, baby. Hi, Wom. Um, so I have a question, mm. like, so what, there's like two political parties in Guyana, right? Yeah. Okay, which one is in power right now? But, um, it's the PMP in power right now. Okay, the PMP. Mm. Okay. And then, alright, so one of them is like more known for being like the Indian party, the other yeah. one's being like the black yeah. party? The Indian, the, the, the Indian and the black, the, 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 no, they just fight this one. Now, they seem really like them kind of thing, they're supposed to live in that one, you know? Okay, yeah. yeah. He's supposed to fight with each other because I'm not part of the so I have to recall each other. Yeah. Now who we fight against each other and those kind of things, you know? Yeah. There's this needless division, kind of, in the mm -hmm. country. No, it, it, it's a kind of divide and rule something. Mm -hmm. Divide and rule? Yes. Come back when it's better. <laughs> Come back when it's better? <laughs> when the oil money is everywhere? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you really have turned into yeah. the, the buy of South America? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the motto or motto is one people, one nation, one destiny. Yeah. But we're not living like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We're not living like that. I'm glad to see we live like that. Yeah. Well, it's kind of more like two people yeah. chasing two different destinies. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. That, look, that does look nice. Yeah. Have a look, man. Did you make these yourself? I'm making them right here. Oh, these nice. last two I just made. Okay. Can you show me how you make it a little bit? Okay. I'll make a picture of you on one. <laughs> Want to do that? Five minutes. Hey. All right? See? Wow. Yeah. That's a tip shape already. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Look like a Greek god. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of these fruits that you're uh, carving? These into? are calabash, but oh, in calabash. your country we call them gourds. Uh, gourds. You know what's a gourd, right? Yeah. Something like a squash. Yeah. Hey, sexy bro. How are you doing? Good afternoon. That's her full name. Hmm? That's her full name, Sexy Brown. <laughs> hey, you gotta give them names. <laughs> I feel you, I feel you. Don't worry. <laughs> the names that you give them is boost them. 
Yeah. Make you feel on top. <laughs> <laughs> a little, you sprinkle a little extra on top. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. All right, thank you, sir. Let us see the finished product here. Nice. Does it look uh, similar? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Spitting image. Spitting image. I would say. How much did you say that was? I give you this at 800. 800? Yeah. Okay. It's so fascinating how Guyana feels like a different universe compared to the rest of South America. It's just different ethnicities, different languages, English. And uh, say hi. Say hi. <laughs> and unless you're from New York City. There's a good chance you've never heard of this country. So, enjoy. I'm happy to help introduce it to you. All right, so what we're walking into right now is the National Park of Guyana, or the National Park of Georgetown. A nice little tranquil spot in the middle of the city. Well, you can do another one. No, I can't do another one. You can do it. Let's go. I know, not a lot of you watching this think that I don't work out. I do. I'm just a damn ectomorph. <laughs> Guyana's story after independence is a very interesting one. And it helps to explain a lot about where the country is today. At independence, you had a bit of a dilemma. There was a subtle tension between the two biggest ethnic groups in Guyana. The Indo-Guyanese who came here were basically the descendants of indentured laborers, and the Afro-Guyanese who came here basically as the descendants of slaves who were brought here against their will. And what ended up happening is at independence, the Indo-Guyanese had a larger share of the population. So, if people voted along ethnic lines, whoever was on the side of the Indians would win every single time. And this was at the forefront of everyone's minds <laughs> at independence. That was set to happen. However, you had two men vying for power at, the, at independence. One was Chetty Jagan, an Indo-Guyanese, and the other, Forbes Burnham, an Afro-Guyanese. Chetty Jagan was set to be the leader. However, the British and Americans wrongly thought he was going to be a communist and helped lead a coup and put Forbes Burnham in power instead. This man, Forbes Burnham, I can't speak too much to his uh, governing qualities, but he basically led a dictatorship in Guyana for about 20, 20 years or so. So after he took power, Forbes Burnham tried to change the demographics of Guyana. He wanted to encourage Indo-Guyanese to leave the country, and at the same time, he wanted to encourage people of African descent to move to Guyana. And interestingly, 
the main group that he targeted for this was actually black Americans, saying, look at the discrimination that you have in the United States. Come here to Guyana and let's build a nation together. Now, this didn't quite happen. The first thing happened, but it was actually both groups, both Indo and Afro-Guyanese, ended up immigrating, especially to New York. But this wave of African immigration that he hoped for never materialized, it never happened. However, there actually was one group of both black and white Americans that ended up moving to Guyana from one specific group, which led to the most infamous incident in Guyana's history. I'm talking about, of course, the Jonestown Massacre. And ironically, the Jonestown Massacre actually helped shed a spotlight on the dictatorship that was happening here. And thus, after that, Guyana transitioned to more or less a normal democracy. Somewhat. The problem is, that you still have that tension that existed between the two major groups at independence. And now, that tension is symbolized by the two major political parties in Guyana. It's a little bit sad, I would say. And now, with the discovery of oil off the coast of Guyana, which we'll talk about a little bit later, Guyana is set to have a lot more money in its state coffers. And I'm really hoping that the money can be used the right way. That it really can be uh, a Dubai of South America. Um, do you have advice for anyone coming to Guyana to stay safe on their visit here? No. I think Guyana will start getting more popular as a tourist destination. What precautions do they need to take? It's coming to Guyana. First of all, Guyana is a nice place. Yeah. But like, like, just like other poor countries, you have some bad people. You know, yeah. there are some good people, there are some bad people. You know, but besides the bad people, Guyana is a nice place to come. We have nice stuff, cars and so on. Yeah. But so the precaution is let's say come with some, let's say um, you know somebody. Yeah. You know somebody who could go wrong with you. Yeah. It's better. Okay. As a tourist. Better than a backup. Better, yeah. Better than okay. somebody to go around with you. Yeah. <laughs> so in the countryside, you can walk around freely. Yeah, freely. In Georgetown, if you're a foreigner, you probably shouldn't walk the streets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Lessons to keep in mind. It's been a pleasure today, gentlemen, yeah. for all the help. Yeah, brother. <laughs> and with that, that concludes our visit to Georgetown, the capital and largest city of Guyana. After this, we'll be exploring the rest of the country, getting out to the countryside. But if you come to Guyana, this is where you're always gonna start. So, it's good to get a little overview of the place. Definitely a lot of friendly people here. Definitely a lot of things to do. Uh, it's a decent nightlife. <laughs> but, um, as my friends told you before, you have to be a little bit safe, especially if you're an obvious looking foreigner. <laughs> but, uh, eh, it's been a decent stay here. What's that? You gotta take a shower first? Okay. My neighbor. <laughs> How you doing? Well, go on. My neighbor has just informed me that he is, uh, expert freestyler. So we're going to try to get that on camera. Alright. What's your name on YouTube? My name is Sabbatical on YouTube. What? I told you yesterday, Sabbatical. Oh, Sabbatical? Yeah, you forgot already. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> What's your rapping name? Huh? Young MC. Yeah, yeah, MC? Young MC, yeah. Young MC, okay. Yeah. Young MC, the future of Guyana right yeah. here. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Are they going to be beatboxing up here? or? Yeah. <laughs> You're making them nervous. Yeah. Yeah. I have found this beat. You know I got to do it. 
Never give up in this life, you know I gotta try. I doing this for my family, never wanna see them lonely. I gotta do this every day. I was born to stop a bullet, and touch a bullet, invincible, incredible. Every day I read my Bible, yeah. So I live my life humble. I don't care what the haters gotta say about me. I'm a real king in this ring, yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah, there you go. Uh -huh. Young MC? Young MC. Yeah, yeah. that was good. Straight from uh, the dome, right? Yeah, straight, yeah. Nice. Freestyling. Yeah, hell yeah. I ain't right, though, just freestyle though. Yeah. Yeah. How long have you been uh, doing this for? A good time. There was a kid. Since you were a kid, yeah, okay. Yeah, but never really got, you know, get pushed right. You know? How's the rap scene here in Guyana? Because I, I never hear about many musicians from no, Guyana, no, no. to be honest. See, I hear about people from Trinidad, Jamaica, yeah, yeah, not really Guyana. I really got it to get like, you know, like to make it like, you know, my music big. Yeah. Like, the whole world, if you work it, to know you, be famous, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's your name on Facebook then? Uh -huh. Carlos Mohammed. Carlos Mohammed? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, if people search Carlos Mohammed, they can find you like yeah. that? Okay. No, they can't find my, my music because I need to make a, um, like a YouTube. Approach. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bro, you got to get on that. Yeah. <laughs> You're about to be seen by like a couple hundred thousand people. You gotta be, yeah, 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 <laughs> you gotta yeah. be ready to receive this audience. Yeah, yeah. Coming for you. Yeah. This is trippy. So now I understand where you're seeing me from. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When you're yelling down at me yeah, on the yeah. street. Yeah. How you guys doing? Yeah. Just chilling now. Yeah, yeah. You watching YouTube or TikTok? Get off of that shit. Watch YouTube. It's a nice little neighborhood, though. Yeah, nice little neighborhood. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah, bro. Take care. Yeah. I'll be seeing you probably yeah, every day. Don't worry. <laughs> What's that? I'm gonna shoot the next video. Are you gonna shoot another video? Yeah. Okay. You'll be ready. You have like the lyrics and everything set up. Yeah.